shadowtrailer.com. This is like a horse trailer. We're gonna check this out inside. Those tires are beefy. A horse type toy hauler like this is a great option for those that like the fifth wheel but feel fifth wheels are too high. This option is similar to a truck camper in that the bedroom is loft style and sits towards the cab of a truck saving space and height. It's a great compromise for those that are looking for a new RV but still have an option to modifying half the trailer for a personal preference. I think it's a smart idea worthy of more buyers. Shadow. Oh, I see the name there. This is another one of the horse trailer type toy hauler. I love this model a lot better than the last one. I love the beds, a lot of cabinet storage back there. It's a little bit more elegant than the last one. It's pretty dark in here, so I do think it's a little extreme dark. But it's got the living area here, cabinet. So this whole area here is just your normal RV cabinets. A lot of lots of storage lots of cabinets I love this leather it's, I don't know if you can see that it's like a leather on the refrigerator it's really nice this is really nice I love that finish and the walls have it too see the walls the trim is right here and the walls have that and there's your bathroom which you have a sliding door here and then this is your toe here so look at that, look how bright that is. Wow. So that could be your your home at night. And then this could be a working area here. Like you know, I, could, I can see like you put your dirt bike or your dirt bike. Well, I can see also something. if somebody had like an art studio or they sold art on the road, this would be perfect because you can paint, you can do artistic stuff in this area. And then you can have merchandise back here. Awesome. Let's look at it from the other angle. Look at all these windows, wow. Look at that. your window here. This window pops open, which I love. That is gorgeous. Oh, that has a slide where the sofa is. Massages Come you. and get your massage. Massage chairs. Oh, here's more truck campers. Hello. Palomino. Is that open? Can you check if that's open? Palomino. This is oh. very bad. This is very bad. I have to write in my blog about this. This one's open. This one's open. All right. I like this. I like this landing with the storage. I've always, I've always been a big fan of, of the big storage is here with the, with that. Look at this. So this is Palomino. This is a, this was another one I was looking at, when I was like thinking of getting a camper, a true camper. I like this a lot. I just don't like the dark colors. But, uh, oh, it's a slide out. Oh, I do like this though. Good. Man, that seems pretty tight there. Okay, this is the bathroom from the Palomino. Electric. Your shower. Hey, we were being told that lunch would be served at the dome, so here we are. Got a sandwich for us? Did you get a cookie in yours? Yeah. What about water?
sandwiches here. I, you already had a Cuban sandwich. Oh, over there, that's right. I never heard of this brand before, but it's pretty interesting set up here with this doorway. It's pretty high. It's pretty high. Yeah. All right, let's get inside. This is pretty big. Wow, this has got a slide out, I'm sure. Very high, and they're not even on the truck. Here's a little sofa because that slide comes in. Okay, so the slide would come in here. Wow, look at this truck camper! Look at this. This is a truck camper. Look at this, guys. Wow, it's a fireplace. So, this is your slide out. When the slide out comes in, it's probably going to butt with here. So you'll, you won't be able to walk through this. Okay, not sure about what this is. I guess there's a door here. Don't know about that. Hmm. Apparently, there is not a door for this or a curtain. I guess if you wanted to, you would put a curtain there. But I'm just appalled at how this is like he open. This is like anti This is like open, and if people are sitting on the couch, they can watch you poop over here. Oh, and by the way, if they don't watch you from, they can watch you from the window too. Your next door neighbor. Hey guys, I finally got to the big foot, and I'm in love with this rig. This is my pick of the show. I've been wanting to look at one of these for a long time. Storage generator. I love the landing pad there. Okay, let's go inside. Oh, this is nice. Love the colors, very pretty. Very pretty. Love, love that this table is very simple to just pull out of the way. I love that. Look at that setup. This is very nice. Nice and private back here. This bedroom is pretty nice. I don't like the fabric, but I guess uh, you can choose your own. It's got a small, uh, looks like a fantastic van up here, which I really like a lot. A lot of drawers, storage, good amount of storage here. Lots of storage. Okay, let's look here at the bathroom. Got this nice door here. So here's your door. So have it wide open now, but nice size shower. Very nice. Independent shower. You have your sink. Cabinets. Very nice. Mirror here. And then you have your toilet. And it's raised up. Love this camper layout. This is really nice. Hey everybody. Okay, so then we're gonna we're in the bathroom now. We're going to look here. We have a lot of storage here. We already came off the bedroom. Storage here. Good size refrigerator, Dometic. Love this. Very good. Very, very nice. Nice storage down here. This is a really this is no slide out on this camper. This is the kind of camper that I love. Um, this is a little bit much with the three burners. I think they should do away with the three, but I guess it's optional if you wanted to do away with the oven and have more counter space. I love this. Last year I talked about this. Lance had a, a model like this with a slide out where the kitchen is now in the back, nice and sunny and bright, and the dinette is in the back as well, and they both are next to each other, and I love this layout. Love it. 
Beautiful. Very nice. The tires look pretty beefy for a Bigfoot. All right, let's take a look. This is the first time that I've seen a Bigfoot travel trailer. I'm not a fan of the graphics, the, this is the pattern, but um, not bad. All right, this, this, this is interesting because I've never seen this in a travel trailer. Good storage there. Good storage. I don't like that this is fabric because I think if you're by the dinette or you're near the cooking, you shouldn't have fabric here, but that's an easy solution. I do like the open window. This reminds me a lot of an Airstream. And I do like this a lot. This kitchen area is very nice. Got good size kitchen area. Good cabinets. Love this huge, huge sunroof. And then you have extra counter space on this side. You can have it with your TV. Love this. It's really nice. That the bed over here. Good place for your phone over there. Lots of storage on top. Let's look at the bathroom. Wow, oh, it's a good sized bathroom for a little for a little trailer like this. It's the same wallpaper I had in my travel trailer in the bathroom. Same one. But look at this, a nice sink. I don't like that there's no storage down there, but I guess you need the space. You could store stuff down here, which is nice. It's supposed to give the appearance of a pedestal stink. Um, the shower is good. It's kind of small. I don't know if a big person would have a problem in here. Oh, it's got this um, hold and press in um, plastic shower. Hey, everybody. So, yeah, this is a nice little bathroom. Oh, lots of storage under the bed. There's storage right here. Yeah, good There's size storage. wardrobe, too, for a trailer. I say this is a good competitor to Lance. They're coming out with these. Uh, these travel trailers. The storage that they have here. Lots of drawers. Pop out over here for cooking. I love this. And tiny, small microwave. Nothing big. Lots of cabinets. Lots of cabinets. Good size sink with a cover. Look at the sink. That's pretty big. And the bedroom is nice. Really nice. I mean, you just have to get around this little corner here. No slide out. So even if you parked at a Walmart, you don't have a problem getting into your bed. Very nice. Look at all the cabinets over here. And it's nice and bright. And television option over here. Charge your phone at night, which is nice. Very nice. Big closets. Very big closets. This is a really nice little option for a trailer. And good size bed right here. You brought that down. Put the cushions there. There's your, that's your next bed right there. Look at these windows. It's so nice. Ta-da! Look what I see here, the Cirrus. Remember, if you remember a while back before I found my lens, this was the big contender for me. This is what I thought I wanted. Let's go and check it out today. Okay, good size cabinets. I love the woodwork. Looks very natural is what I want to say. Um, it's finished, but it almost has the appearance of something a little bit more rustic, which I love. I still love that great window there so that when you're sleeping, you can look out at night. The seating arrangement is still good. Small table, which is nice. You don't need such a big table. Love the big giant window here. Just it's like a panoramic window is so nice. And then you have this is what I this is one of the things that I wish the other truck campers would do this this setup here I love this this is nice and small and it's just enough for a truck camper you don't need more than that um, microwave that would do much better replaced probably we could do better with a cabinet there than that contraption lots of drawers they don't go all the way to the back though they just are short drawers. That's not a drawer. Okay, so here's some more drawers. Which is nice. And here are these cabinets. Oh, that's nice. Oh, this is big. Lots of space. When you pop this, the handle comes out. And you pull that out. And I love that. 
because that is a lot of space down there. Wow. Look at the storage. And then you just pop that in and it locks it in. Yeah. Let's try that again. Just pop it in and now it's locked. Love that. Let's look at the bathroom. Okay, so it's a wet bath and it still has the optional sink, which is nice because you can pull that out of the way when you're showering. so disorganized this year. Very bad. Very bad with the lens, people. <sighs> Junk everywhere. Uh, there you go, guys. There's the lens. I keep saying it and I might be a broken record, but why do you pay rent to bring your rigs here and have them all locked on media day? That makes no sense to me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, please share it, and please subscribe. Well, by the way, well, uh, look something like Something's happening in my butt. Well, Lily. It it's like, grr, grr, grr.